This drill, this first drill, is to help you build a deep core awareness without pushing your hips back over your alignment. So you've got your hands and wrists in aligned with your shoulders, and then you've got your core in line so your booty is staying in line with your back. It's not pushing out and arching. You're keeping your ribs in as much as possible, and as you go up, you're pulling your legs apart, opening them up, keeping them open, and then bringing them back down slightly to grab that deep core. It's going to help you to develop awareness. See, as I go up, I'm pushing my legs out away from each other to bring myself up to still keep that straight back line. And then I am coming back down, pushing my legs apart, keeping my hips in that straight back line, and my legs are coming into alignment with my body. This will develop a great core, deep core movement, particularly for pike press and any movements that you want, including planche, crow, plank, all of these types of movements need this deep core. This is a side body activator, also good for learning one-handed handstands and learning to fold over. You'll be bringing your head towards the arm where the foot is going to the ground and slightly twisting your body and folding your body, keeping your legs wide and then turning, again bringing your leg and your body together in a movement pattern where it's twisting and folding and rotating very slightly and your head coming towards that align to create this movement. It'll really work your side body, deep core and understanding how your body is to fold when to create side movements upside down to avoid injury and lower back pain. Also to understand the proper functionings of your body and develop and start developing more core awareness and strength unilaterally for one-handed handstands. This is a great movement for hip flossing, bringing one leg from splits, keeping your body and shoulders in alignment all the way up, keeping that in whole alignment, straight line into the handstand, and then clocking it round to the other side. It'll floss out your hips, build hip strength and flexibility, also in your hip flexors, as well as shoulder endurance and deep core activation and body alignment keeping your whole body in a line. Working unilaterally, you'll be able to see how flexibility in one side and strength is different from the other and build more and more core awareness and control on both sides with the wall supporting you. It's a great movement to build not only flexibility, but strength and awareness in a new multi-dimensional version going up into handstands, giving gravity assist a little bit of a challenge towards the movement for you to build a stronger, more fun and sound practice as you move through hand balances, yoga or any flexibility or strength training. <laughs> 